Hello Geospatials, welcome to yet another tutorial, it's me Grace Amondi and today we are going to be looking at a case study analysis of the secondary schools affected by floods in Kajiado County. So quickly we have some few data sets and we'll be using ArcGIS tool, we'll be adding Kajiado County shapefile, uh, the Kenya River shapefile and also the Kenya secondary schools CSV file. So uh, the CSV file will convert it into a shape file and we'll convert the Kajiado school CSV to a shape file. Then we'll perform clipping and we'll be clipping Kenyan rivers against Kajiado counties as well as Kenyan secondary schools against Kajiado county. Then we'll be defining our projection and we'll be defining the projection of the clipped Kajiado schools. This is because the CSV file does not yet contain a um, projection and it needs some coordinate system. So after we have defined the projection, we'll project. We'll project both of the Kajiado schools and Kajiado rivers from geographic to ARC 1960s on 37 south. And then we'll perform buffering and this will be for the rivers the Kajiado rivers and will create a buffer of 1000 meters that is 500 meters away from the center of the river then finally we'll intersect the schools that fall on Kajiado rivers buffer zones and will be done with the tutorial so um let's get started okay so before we can get started let's look at what we'll have as our end product and this is a model so it's just a flow that will bring together the geoprocessing tools that we'll be using in a sequence whereby the output tool uh, data of one is the input of another so um we'll be using the arcgis model builder and this is an application you use when you want to create edit and manage models Moving on to ArcGIS desktop, we'll quickly go to where we have our folder that contains the data sets. So if you don't have the folder yet connected, you'll just go to add connections and you'll add the folder that contains your data set. But since I already have one connection, I'll just proceed. So right click on the folder and then select new. Then select toolbox and we'll rename our toolbox to something like Kajiado. Once the toolbox is created, you'll right click on it and select new, then you're going to create our model. So our model, you can just give it a, a better label. So go to model properties, and then you label it schools affected by flooding. Then you click OK. So now let's get started. As you had said earlier, we'll add the the csv file for the schools and this the csv file can be added by adding the xy normally we would add it by going to file add data and add xy data but since you are going to create a model you need to look for the tool that does this so this tool is called makes make xy event layer so go to search this icon then go to tools and search for the layer for the tool make xy event layer then you'll just drop it into the model builder then now we can double click on the tool itself and then in this section we'll choose where the csv file is located so we'll select it and then click add once it's done the xy x and y should be automatically filled but if they are switched, you'll just have to interchange them. So the X field should go for X and Y field should go for Y. Then just select OK. So now you notice the, the, the model appears to have changed color. And this means that the process that you have done has taken into action. So next you're going to, you're going to clip this schools layer. So we're going to, add another tool and this tool is called clip so I'll just search for it so search for clip tool then to be sure of which tool you are going to use between the clip coverage and clip analysis just click on them and open so the correct one is the clip tool on a normal basis we'll just go to geoprocessing and select clip 
but now since you are going to create a model you'll need to add the tool that's called clip analysis so let's just drag the clip analysis tool into the model builder and then double click on the clip tool and our output should be this this layer so the output the input should be the output of the previous tool so I'll just select that kenya secondary schools layer then you're going to clip it against the Kajiado County as I had mentioned earlier. So I'll just select it, the Kajiado County shapefile from where we had stored it in the in our folder. So Kajiado County and then add. And then let's just select um, a location where we'll store this. So in the folder you can just use a geodatabase and create a new one. Let's name it create a new geodatabase and we'll name it Kajiado. And then we'll open it. And this will where, this is where we'll be saving everything that we create. So we'll just name the final output as clipped schools. Save then select OK. Now as you can notice the, uh, there is a connection between the Kenya secondary schools and the clips. So we can just select the auto layout to rearrange the items. So click on that to rearrange the items. Next thing we need to do after we have clipped the Kajiado schools is define a projection for them. So as you can see, the the Kajado school data that is there is has been changed from CSV to shapefile, and it still does not yet have any projection. So we are going to first define the projection of the Kajado school shapefile that has been already clipped. So we'll be using the define projection tool. So select define projection. Just search for it in the search. And you are going to use the data management define projection tool and drag it and drop it into the model builder. So the output of the clip schools, which is called clip schools, will be the input of the defined projection. So just select and you are going to select clip schools. And then the coordinate system is geographic. Select OK. So now we have clip schools too. We can rename it to defined schools then select ok then after we have defined the projection we are going to project it now we are going to be projecting meaning we are going to convert it from the geographic to um, projected system of arc 1960 that seven degrees that seven zone that seven south so we are going to use the projection tool project So we are going to drop the project data management tool and then the the final output of the defined projection will be the input of the project tool. So we are going to select defined schools and then the output coordinate system. We had said we'll use ARC 1960s on 37 South. Then click OK. And then we can change the location of where we are going to store it. We'll it just name it as Project Kajiado Schools Project. Save. Then you are going to click OK. So uh, we are just going to rearrange it. So finally, we are done with the Kajiado schools. But now we are left with the rivers. So let's uh, add another clip tool which will clip the rivers against the Kajiado County. So search again for clip tool. And it's the clip analysis. And drop it into the model builder. Then the input will be the Kajiado rivers, the Kenyan rivers. So we are going to search for it 
from the reverse add and then the output the clip features will be the Kajiado County and the output you can just save it in a the Kajiado Geo database so we'll name it as Kenyan Kajiado Rivers then save and select OK so we can just rearrange it now that we have the Kajiado Rivers only we'll project it since it already has the projection of geographic we'll convert it into the w the utm so just add the project tool and drop it into the model builder then the input of the project will be the output of the clipped Kajiado river so double click on project and select the input as Kajiado River. Then we'll save it as Kajiado River Project. Save. Then the output coordinate system, we are going to put it as ACK1960, UTM zone 37 South, and select OK. Then rearrange it. So finally, we have the Kajiado River projected and the Kajiado schools projected. And we need to create a buffer zone for the Kajiado rivers of 1000 meters, that is 500 meters from the center line of the river. So we are going to add a buffer tool. So search for buffer. Add the buffer analysis tool to the model builder. Then the input of the buffer analysis tool will be the Kajiado river that has been projected. So Kajiado river project. And then we'll just change the location and we'll name it as Kajiado River Buffer. Then save. The linear unit will change it to meters and then we'll set it to 1000. Then you can just leave the rest as the default values and then click OK. So finally, we are going to intersect the two Kajiado river that has been buffered to the Kajiado schools projected. So we are going to add the intersect tool and drop it into the model builder. The, mo the intersect tool's input will be the Kajiado river buffer and the Kajiado schools. So select Kajiado river buffer and also the Kajiado schools that have been projected. Then select, just edit that a little bit. Change the location to Kajiado Schools Flooding. Then save and select OK. And let's rearrange everything. Now so far we are done with our model. You can just run it to confirm if it's working. So click on run. And it should show the processes that are ongoing as it runs. So uh, I had not explained the importance of the model tool or creating a model. This is important to whereby you don't want to keep on repeating the same process again and again. For example, if you are given the another county to do, you won't have to repeat the whole process. You'll just change the type of data and maybe the yeah, only the data, then everything will just flow at the same way. So should be done by now. So it has completed successfully, can close. Then go to the end product, which is Kajiado Schools Flooding. Right click on it and add to display. Then you should go back to the ARC map, map view. And you'll notice that the schools that are affected by flooding have been added to the, 
to the region so uh, that's it for the model creating a model in the next tutorial we'll convert this tool that you have created into a tool that can be shared by others or added to the ArcGIS desktop platform so thanks guys for watching remember to like share and subscribe goodbye